Hello and welcome to another installment of our Getting Started series. Today we're going to talk about wire, where you can get some stuff cheap when you're first starting, useful stuff, and some stuff that you might be interested in when you get into more advanced projects to purchase. And I've got a few laid out on my desk here and we'll go through them one by one and kind of explain what's going on with each, what they're good for, where to get them. Alright, when you start with electronics you're going to need various kinds of wire and you'll start seeing what you need when you get into it more and going back to one of our earlier videos scavenging this is off of a computer power supply and you'll get they're rather short but you'll get a lot of good wires here to do some simple projects make you some alligator clip wires for your very early stuff you're going to quickly move into needing to use a breadboard and what I found starts you out good at a breadboard. If you've got someone that works for the telephone company, this is telephone wire. This is about a 600 pair wire that you see going from pole to pole. <clears throat> Just talk to one of the guys, tell them what you're doing, and they'll probably give you this. Note that some of this, this is a dry cable. This is what you want. Some of this is packed with this really nasty, sticky stuff. You don't want that. These are about a 28 gauge wire very useful they're a little small for a breadboard but we found that they work pretty good to start and you can usually get a piece like this for free and this is more than enough wire to last you a long time until you start actually buying stuff <clears throat> we'll move along this is a power cord you can get these off of any appliance or anything that you scrap out most of the time that's 110 volt it's about 16 gauge wire easy to cut, use, readily available. Coaxial cable. You can go out and buy coaxial cable or most of the time at thrift stores or you may even have this laying around. This is a old TV coaxial with the F connectors on it. And these come in various sizes but this is most of the time free or super cheap thrift stores. AV cables once again, a type of coaxial. You get a lot of good ends off of these too. Very cheap, affordable, and available. This is just the old flat style telephone wire. Really tiny wires in here, useful for certain things. Once again, usually cheap, if not free, most of the places. And we'll move up to if you want to buy wire, you'll get into this eventually. You'll need certain sizes of wire and you'll want to actually purchase. This is primary wire. You get this at most auto parts stores you can get this from anywhere from 18 gauge on up to 12 gauge probably comes in various colors not super expensive but you are dealing with new wire and sometimes you want to do that this is hookup wire this is 22 gauge wire works great in bread boards is the appropriate size this kit wasn't too much i think it might have been 20 bucks the internet it comes with six different colors and I think they're 25 foot rolls so plenty of wire here at a good price got this I think at the Home Depot this is a a seven conductor 18 gauge wire they had this on sale they were selling out of it at my local store so I think I picked it up pretty cheap it's good wire it's not stranded wire so you can do good work soldering in the boards and whatnot and it's just it's a good alternative if you can find stuff like this on sale well I hope you found this video informative about wire and I hope you pursue electronics and have fun with it and if you like this video and want to see more visit our YouTube channel and subscribe Enigmatic Electronics we also have a Facebook page check that out and have fun